from Russia, Uzbekistan, and Hong Kong. But in the end, Chong Ming Tan's performance held out for a second place finish, securing the silver. Jian Xing Ho from Hong Kong took home the bronze, and Liu Tang from China mesmerized the venue with a championship worthy medal performance, securing the gold for China. And we are off to start with the men's double broadsword. First up, we have Budad Yassin from Algeria. Here we off with a strong start by Yassin. And so Mara, with two broadswords, what are the differences in the rules that we'll be seeing today? Well, so I think the double broadsword complexity just adds another level of difficulty to the overall performance value. I think one big thing is, of course, having to be ambidextrous. I think uh, the outstanding thing to me is the non-dominant hand can't show any level of weakness. Additionally, any technical deductions that are taken from one side are also taken from the other side. So any disparity, or if anyone hasn't really been training uh, the non-dominant hand, it can really show here in their overall performance level. So what the judges will be looking at is particularly the left hand in this case. I believe so. I think we saw the same thing in woman's double straight sword. Uh, double broadsword tends to be a lot, a little bit faster, a lot more explosive, dynamic movements. So it'll be really interesting to see how these athletes perform today. And that was our first competitor from Algeria, Budad Yassin. Overall strong performance. We'll just have to see how it pans out. The overall B score is really what we're going to be looking at, or the overall performance score. Certainly athletes want to minimize any type of level A deduction, so any technical deductions, but I think really those that take risks really push the envelope are the ones that are going to score well. And here we have our first score, 9.066. You see a